Hey guys, and welcome back to Island Paradise. Um, as you can see, Clara is just finding out that she is pregnant right now, so I thought this would be a good time to bring it back, and it was a full moon because I guess the lunar cycles were turned back on. But it is like 2 a.m., and Clara is finding out she's pregnant. Yay! See, she's going to stand here until she changes into something that may or may not be completely hideous, because that is the way of maternity clothes in The Sims 3. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty bad. She wants to have a boy. Um, That's more important than making out. <laughs> but let's see what her uh, everyday outfit looks like. She gets four days off of maternity leave. Oh, that's pretty bad. Whatever. She is our little pregnant mermaid, so she can wear whatever she wants. And she's off for a few days, so I guess we'll just be improving her skills and all of that. So we're going to go ahead and serve some pancakes. Except, no we're not. Because she doesn't need any pancakes. We will have her have kelp. Alrighty, so let's have her have some kelp. And, I don't know what, maybe we should, I don't think we can do scuba diving when we're pregnant, can we? We can visit the dive lot. Let's see. Um, snorkel cannot be performed by a pregnant sim. That's what I thought. So, we unfortunately cannot go underwater with Clara, but maybe this will be a good time to work on Ivan's skills but he does have work so maybe not but he wants to read a pregnancy book I might let him do that but we shall see we shall see so he's about to wake on up so let's have him use the all-in-one bathroom he wants to see a who's Kara I thought this is Clara at first and I was gonna be like oh no you don't you're not wishing to kill your girlfriend she's pregnant with your baby <laughs> I don't know who Kara is, so we will cancel that. He's going to get on up. She's going to relax. I think maybe we'll send her out for a spa day today when she wakes up, because that might be nice. So, well, that's over here. Day spa. Um, We can't get a lot, so we'll probably just get her a massage... And um, a shiatsu massage, I guess, will be our best bet since we're trying to get some money here. We're starting a family, which Clara's just like, I did not think this would be happening now. <laughs> Look at her sleeping. She's going to be a mommy. It's kind of exciting, but we're going to have to figure out where to put the baby. Um... I guess we can convert up here into like a second floor. Maybe we'll do that now. We'll do that now. Um, these are half walls, correct? Correct. Okay. I think we'll still have like a little deck area. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Cause we still need. Maybe I'll have a third floor. Let's get rid of all of these half walls. And build another wall up here. <laughs> um, I didn't know. Oh, I guess I needed those floors. the second floor which will have a baby's room in it but I will also put some like windows so we can see out so we can drive our boat would probably be a very good idea oh these are expensive um let's make it daytime while we're at it and make these just like a white color or silver or whatever this one 
as well. And it looks like they're not facing the same way. Huh. They're not quite even. Oh, there we go. That's better. Alright. So, that will be our little control area. And, um, I guess we'll have a different wallpaper upstairs. Um, we can just get, like, a plain color for now, maybe? And, uh, the exterior should probably match. Do that. Oh, this is going to be an expensive little renovation. Um... And do that. And here as well. If I can get it. Alright, and then we'll do these little corner pieces too. And add on a roof. You know, extremely basic. We don't have a ton of money right now, so we're gonna have to make do with our little houseboat. As we get more money, of course we can get a better place, but right now we can't really afford it so we're gonna do that and maybe we can get another ladder to go up onto the roof but maybe not for right now although the half walls might look nice um that that coloring from the full moon is gonna drive me insane um <laughs> let's see we don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl so i guess that will maybe go like with a greenish color, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell what this looks like because of the terrible lighting. Oh, it's so bad. Alright, um, <laughs> and I guess we'll just plop a crib up here for the moment. Nothing too exciting. We'll put one of these into the future cribs. And, um, I guess some toys would be a good idea too. And a painting or two maybe. These little guys here. Um, and freezer bunny, of course. Um, and we'll put a little teddy bear. Um, a regular teddy bear in here. And just a rug. And I, it's a very boring little room up here but it'll do for right now because we, do, we don't know what kind of baby we're gonna have and we will of course customize this room a lot better and maybe like split this up into multi like actually a room not just kind of like this upstairs area with a crib once we actually have the baby so for now that will be sufficient oh I forgot lights never mind let me go grab some lighting that'd probably be a pretty good idea to have um, right, lighting, lighting, lighting. Oh, the lighting up here is just bad. I don't like it. That's, that's good enough for now. Yeah. Okay. This is our very, very simple baby room and control room, and they're all in one. But, you know, so there's some mermaid swimming by, but Ivan's going to come out here and throw something out. And we should probably actually move that trash can so it is not in the way of walking around. We'll put that right here. Um, I don't know where to put this. I feel like this will always be in the way. I guess it has to stay right there. That's fine. Um, but yeah, they're... Um, I hope the full moon goes away soon. I believe I edited the options to make it so it would always be a waxing crescent. So that should change momentarily, I would think. But in the meantime, we made a little upstairs area for a baby. <laughs> it's so bad, but it's something. So, all right. We should probably wake up Clara now so she can go to her spa day. Actually, she needs to eat more help first. Um, and Ivan definitely needs to work on his scuba diving because we're going to have him go get some kelp for Clara. So what is his skill at right now? Non-existent, correct? That's what I thought. So 
he could just come out in the water here and snorkel. And of course he wants to slide on a pool slide, but you need to go get kelp for your pregnant girlfriend. So let's have him go do that before he has work in eight hours. I like this little port. It has like this little house thing here, which has like nothing in it, but it's still kind of cool. It's like, oh, there's these boxes. How exciting. But I don't know. Oh my gosh. We didn't put any windows. I am so bad at this. Um, okay. Let's put some windows upstairs. I guess we can line them up with where these ones are. This one can't go there. I'll put two in the front. And find out why that one can't go there. Oh, the painting. Okay. That makes plenty of sense spending a bunch of money on windows, but that is a-okay. Alright, so there's more light up here now. <sighs> and we can center this. Okay, there we go, there we go. Good enough for now. Little baby's room. Alrighty, and I want you to snorkel on that boat. And you're hungry too, but we will send you home to eat after you improve this to, I believe, level one, because it doesn't look like you have any skill in that. So, come on, you can snorkel. I believe in you. There we go. Looking all cute. <laughs> and Claire is almost done with her shiatsu massage. Talk about a day of pampering. Clara Fresco decided to spend some time at the spa. She will always remember getting a foot massage while enjoying a hot kelp body wrap. Ooh. Ooh, we made 1,553 simoleons from our resort. And, yeah. So, I guess we should check the resort reviews. I mean, we aren't exactly in the position to make a lot of changes to our resort right now. With the baby on the way. But, you know, we might be able to edit something. Or start <laughs> planning or constructing something new. That will help us out in the long run. So let's take a look at our resort reviews. Four stars. This resort needs more landscaping. Okay. I, oh, I woke up with a roach in my bed. Where's the mate? Oh, we don't have maintenance. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, this is dirty and smelled funny. Okay. It's all about our terrible. Okay. So people don't like our gym. And we don't have a maintenance crew. So, manage maintenance crew. Let's get those. So, we hired maintenance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty, there's trash everywhere. And that should be cleaned up now that we have a maintenance crew. What is this? That's a book. Can I take that? No. Okay. Anyway, I was it's kind of cute. Um, I think that once um what is she doing um <laughs> once we um earn a little bit more money i will put a gym here i think that's what i decided before but i think that'll fit nicely right here so we'll probably convert this to something else but i don't know i think right now our resort's doing okay i mean we're four stars but we need some landscaping so I guess maybe we should get some more palm trees and like little gardeny areas, even though we're in the sand. I think it would look pretty. Maybe have some like rocks and plants along the edge of our little deck here. I think that would look really nice. So let's go put a little fence up. Uh, this one should work. Oh, I didn't want that to go out like that. Let's do that. And... Put some rocks. I like rocks. Um, let's use that to put some like rocks around. Well, that one's way too big, and then these get to be gigantic. Oh, well, that's not too bad. 
And I'll just put a little one right there. That's good. And um, some plants like these. Um, that looks really cute. Alrighty, and um, uh, not what I wanted. Oh, I did not want to place that. Alright, um, these are pretty, but I'm not sure that fits in there too nicely. Maybe we'll go with a similar thing that we did on the other side with the rocks. So, um, alright. Alrighty, let's do that. That looks a-okay. I think I am good with this. Alright, just a bunch of rocks right there. And then some of those cute little plants that seem kind of beachy. Alrighty, there we go. I think that looks pretty cute. That gives us a little bit more landscaping, and of course we can add more trees in. I don't know how much these cost. Oh, this one's a baby! It's so cute! Uh, can I fit that right in with this? I can! That looks adorable. I'm gonna put one over here, too. Alrighty. That looks awfully adorable. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think... That's generally okay for right now. Gives us a little bit better landscaping. So, you know, a little bit of resort edits. That's all good. So hopefully we can go back into live mode pretty easily here. Sometimes it lags. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, but... That's good. That's good. Alrighty. I think that looks really nice. Hopefully our customers will appreciate our landscaping and the fact that we have a palm tree going through a rock. You know, no big deal. <laughs> but, alright, let's see how Mr. Ivan is doing. Seeing how his snorkeling is going. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's send... Oh, Claire is already on her way home and she is trapped. Um, see... She'll also go for a swim. Uh, did he get his skill? No, he didn't. He's still working on it. He's almost there. He's so close. You got this. Come on. There we go. He learned the basics of scuba diving. Yay! Alright. So he has a level 1 and here is Clara swimming right next to us. Alrighty, so I guess they should both head on home now. And Ivan needs to eat, so let's get him some food from the kitchen. He's gonna have a quick meal of ice cream. Let's see what kind of mood she is in. She's just, just a little hungry. Maybe have some fun. Wait, what? I even just found the toy boat and, um, Clara? Are you stuck, girl? Okay. <laughs> oh, she's swimming, um, through the deck. Okay. Alrighty. That's great. Got here. I don't know what she's doing, but okay. So he found a toy boat. Oh, okay. It, that's a toy. I guess we can put that up here for the baby. Um, Clara, seriously, what is going on with you? Do I need to reset? Yeah, I'm going to reset her. Set some Clara Fresco. Oh, and now she's apparently... um on an island. Oh, and it looks like she's showing a little bit. She's got a little bit of a baby bump. 
<laughs> Alright. Go home and don't swim through the deck. Or through the house. And she's feeling pleasantly warm. So Ivan is working in four hours and he's got to eat some food. And he came home in his snorkeling clothes. He looks so cute. So it looks like it'll be hard to eat like that though. So he's going to have some grilled cheese. Come on. Uh, so he wants to go snorkeling in the ocean. That can be arranged. I don't know. He's doing pretty good in his career. I'm not sure I want him to stay in that career, but... Oh! Congratulations! Clara has conferred the new title of Beach Protector by the Isla Paradiso Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. Quite a reputable lifeguard, rarely asleep on the job, never distracted by all the goods looking folks on the beach unless they're currently dying. <laughs> Claire and I will make 520 simoleons per week and works from 10 to 6. That's great. Alright. Oh, she's on the other side of town. No! Go home. I'm gonna teleport home, I guess. Because there seems to be some routing issues right now. Uh, testing... I teleport on home. Oh my god, I can't cancel anything. Teleport me here. Oh my gosh, like what is going on? Come on, you can get home. And Ivan, oh there we go, she is home now and Ivan is in a decent mood. He wants to socialize a little bit. So I guess he can give her a hug. And... Um, oh. Yeah, let's ask her about her scales. Oh, he wants to kiss her. What does she want to do? She wants to improve her athletic skill. We could do that. Um... We don't have anything like worth canceling, except he's not going to read that book. Alright, so he can he can kiss her. And that will be cute. And she wants to improve her athletic. Um We're not gonna have enough for a hot tub in a while. And I don't wanna cancel this or cancel the boy, because I don't know what she's gonna have, so we'll do that. Poor blah. Oh yeah, they're God. skills. You wanna touch them? <laughs> Oh, that did not look good with what he's wearing on his face. That looked really gross. <laughs> but you should probably go to work. Can he go to work? Yep. Alright. So, I'm going to let Ivan go to work. And, you know, they're not going to do too much for the rest of the night. Just kind of relax. Uh, so, I think I'm going to send Clara over to the resort to just, you know, wind down. Enjoy herself. Eat as much as she possibly can. And, yeah. I will pick this up, I guess, tomorrow morning. <laughs> actually, I am actually, yeah, it's not morning. It's like a couple hours later. <laughs> that was a really great, ac ac actually, I'm not very good at speaking. But I'm going to chat here with Miss Valerie Vital. I invited her over it because I believe if you're friends with a mermaid and just chat with them, it's possible that they might just be like, yo, there's this island. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know if you have to be scuba diving to do it, but I know you need a high relationship with them. So I figured we would talk to Miss Valerie. Let her, we're going to announce our pregnancy to her. Be like, oh my gosh. But first, talk about our promotion. I'm having a baby. Cozy. <laughs> Oh, she's excited. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's ask her about her day. And admire her. I think that'll work out pretty good. 
And Ivan is. is oh, we should have him meet some team member like. members. That'd probably uh -huh. be a good idea. Um, um, maybe he should actually improve his. Um, uh, yeah, meet team members works or hang out with team members. He does know some of. He knows this lady, and he knows his boss. So maybe let's hang out with them. He'll improve our performance. All right. Aw, Valerie's talking to our baby. <laughs> our baby bump. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. So I, they're just going to socialize a little bit. Um, well, she just keeps... Oh, I can ask her to move in? I don't... I don't oh, we don't have room for that. Talk about family. Um, and get to know her a little bit better. Oh, we're getting hungry and tired. Mostly hungry, though. So, maybe it's it's like dinner time. I guess we can be like, hey, we're gonna get going now. Yeah, we'll ask her to leave the group. And we'll talk to you another time, Valerie. So, we'll do that, and we'll have her actually eat some food. And then she actually will head to bed. And then I will pick it up the next day. And Ivan really needs to get her some kelp. We need mm -hmm. some kelp because it helps with her hunger better. And you know, she's a mermaid. Kelp sounds like a good thing to eat. <laughs> so she's going to go ahead and eat her kelp. Looks like that helps out a bit. Uh, hydration's a little... I don't know. We'll use this to help hydration a little bit and to help her bladder. Because that'll be going down more as she is pregnant. And we'll have her go on to bed. He, yeah. He is way tired. And he is still at work. But yeah. When he gets out, I will send him to bed. And I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I think next part we might be having the baby. So, um. And that's pretty exciting. But yeah. So. Ivan's going to head on home after work and go to bed. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.